Okay, I'm going to go over 22 brilliant social media tips that you could use and implement for your brand or whatever you guys are doing. Um, this, These are tips that our company uses for multi-million dollar launches, and there's no point of hiding this and stuff. Um, if you know you go to subway or any other store you know how they make their sandwiches and sometimes you just want to hire somebody to do it for you but if you do it and you're successful great write to me i love to hear success stories from the videos i put out there anyways let's get started tip one write a blog content for your target audience this is really important to Think about your targeted audience. A lot of people write this blog content to get out there for SEO purposes and all this stuff, but you got to really think about your target audience. Close your eyes and go, hmm, if I was my target audience and I was reading this, would it, does it sound like it's too braggy? Does it sound like, you know, something, or does it sound like I something I would actually read and be entertained and by? So write content that applies to your target audience. That's the, one of the first step steps out there. Second one is use social media for customer service. You know what? A lot of companies are actually starting to do this. I noticed Verizon's doing this, and I'm actually following Verizon because I have a Verizon phone, and I'm reading about like, hey, you know, why is my power? Why is it down? Um, why is there an outage? Why don't I have 4G and, and it's only 3G or whatever the case is? And they're actually addressing issues and stuff. So kudos for Verizon for doing this, but you should do it too. You know, get out there, talk to your people like on Twitter and stuff like that, and tell them, hey, this these are some issues, or here's if you guys are facing these issues this is what you should do it really helps you guys to uh, closen the, the gap between the company and the user itself so this is really effective I, I noticed number three you know people look at like their uh, social media and they're like well I'm not getting any money off it well you're not the, the whole point of social media is not to analyze the performance by how much money you get immediately the whole point is to actually gain a lot of people's trust the trust is the whole bottom line here you know you want i would rather have a thousand people uh, that trust me and love me and are advocates of my brand than a million dollars in the bank honestly if you had a thousand good people advocating for your brand and telling everybody else about it and bragging about you on a consistent basis or even loving you they're going to do anything you say you know you tell them hey you know here's a new thing and it's cost a thousand dollars people already love you they're like done a thousand dollars is nothing compared to you know all the stuff you've been giving me so you know what make sure when you analyze how it performs look at people how many people like you and how many people love you how many people are giving you feedback that's really uh, how you should analyze how well your social media is doing. Number four, mobile is really getting big throughout the world. In fact, more people are using mobile devices than any other electronic device. For example, people have laptops and computers, but they're in the street. Just go to a city street right now and look around and look at how many people are on their phone texting and looking at stuff. Well, you should be there too. And it's not just for restaurants and bars. It really helps if you have a doctor, dentist, attorney, anything, be there in their face and, and make sure it it's in mobile format. I hate going to sites when I'm on a mobile phone and I have to zoom in a whole bunch of times and, and I try to click a link and my fat fingers won't, you know, click on it and so on and so forth. So make sure it's a mobile format. But this is a really good way to keep in touch with your people and everybody's using millions and millions and millions of people are buying more smartphones and stuff and more people are using it than computers these days. Well, it is a computer, but you know what I mean. How frequent you send out blogs really do count. People need that consistency. People need to feel like you're always there to support them, to help them and stuff. But with that said, don't just send out non-quality blogs and information. Send out really good stuff so people are sitting down and they're anticipating this next blog, this next thing you're sending out. So this next tip is something that people don't even consider or think of, but Google likes to look at people that are following you versus the number of people you are following uh, in Twitter and stuff. So, for example, if you're following uh, 100 people and only two people are following you, Google will look at that and say, you know what, I'm going to put a, a ranking score lower for you and you're not going to be as high or creditable in their opinion on the search engines. So they're looking for people with a lot of 
clout, so to say. And uh, so it's really good to have a lot of people following you versus you following them. So always consider that. Another really, really powerful tip is to show your users that you really appreciate their feedback and support and stuff. And the way to do this is to actually address their comments in your blog or in your videos saying, hey, John Doe, I want to thank you so much for your feedback and support. And even if it's negative, still give feedback and support and say, hey, I just want to thank you. That was really, you know, good advice that you had here. But this is why I thought this and so on. It creates a conversation. And that's what you really, really want here. So many people make this mistake when they start blogging or giving out information as they start talking about themselves. Nobody wants to hear about your company and how big you are, how many PhDs you have, and so on and so forth. So what you should do is you talk about things people want. If people are worried about how to floss their teeth, for example, and you're a dentist, talk about that. If they're worried about root canals or whatever, talk about that. Put that out there. Give tips and advice and stuff. At the end, people are going to go, who are you? You sound really smart you know as opposed to you saying oh we're this we've been in business this long nobody wants to hear that people want to hear about what you could give them tips on so really focus on that the way you send your message out to your users really does count if you think about it ever since you were a little um, storytelling was a big part of your life in fact since ancient times people communicated things and ideas through stories so our brains are wired towards stories so tell stories about your brand show customers that they're involved in the stories and make them an active participant in the storytelling of your brand you know you want to make them feel a part of the storyline and a part of the community and this is really strong learn how to tell a great story about your brand is important So this next tip really applies to a lot of people who write Twitter posts and blogs and stuff like that. And they're mostly just talking about themselves. They're talking about, you know, how much weight they lost or whatever it is or their company's brand image and how great they are and stuff. Nobody wants to hear about that. They want to hear, like we said before, about what they could get, you know, some tip for them and stuff like that. So really keep, again, keep your audience in mind and don't depress them (laughs) this leads me to my next tip which is give people what they really want which is simple answers you know to simple questions if people have a question in your industry about something very basic and simple and nobody is talking about it give it to them talk about it put it out there tell them you're here to help them they don't want a big explanation about your company and who you are and everything else like that they want a simple answer to a simple question that's it do that a lot of people ask me what technology should i use for uh, building my social media campaigns and stuff and the first thing i say is find out where your people are are they going to twitter or facebook and the second thing is what are you comfortable with because you shouldn't be hung up on the technology you should be more worried about getting your message out there than anything else So this next tip is a really great way to personalize your message and you know the more you personalize it the more people are going to follow you and love you and if you use this geolocation tool that they have on Twitter it's amazing because you could if let's say you're a dentist for example and you're in the Chicago area you could literally say find people who are talking about dentistry talking about like need help and stuff and you could talk back to them in that location and people will love you for that and they'll feel very much like they're connected with you because you're right there in your location talking to them this is a great way to really connect with your audience and powerful as well One of the first things you should do when mapping out a plan or strategy is to find key influencers of your target market. Once you find them, cross promote with them, talk to them, build your brand around these key influencers and understand what they're doing so you could also connect with your audience. This is a really good way and a good strategy to get started. Next tip is a really powerful strategy we use within Facebook. Facebook allows you to create groups and it's really cool to create these groups after you went to a conference or a meeting or something that people are advocating for and create all these little groups. Let's say your group was about the auto industry or something like that. Well, create a group about that conference after you went to the conference and this way you could communicate with them all and have something in common by keeping them in this group. It's a really 
really good way and a strategy to actually connect with those people on an ongoing basis even after you went to the conference or meeting or whatever. So you probably heard the saying, timing is everything. Well, it is, especially in social media and putting out blogs and posts and stuff like that. If you talk about, let's say, Christmas or the holidays or something like that and tie that into your brand, you're connecting with your audience. Same goes with if you talk about something that's latest news and you tie that into with your brand because people are already aware. They're already connected to that event or the news or whatever it is. Now you're connecting with them by tying it into your brand and it works really really well and it's very powerful so if you want to get people to like us and stuff like that which is really good for social proof for credibility you know you have 10,000 likes 5,000 likes 2,000 likes whatever it is you want people to do that but also keep in mind People aren't going to want to like you unless they're getting something from it. You know, like us and get 20% off. Like us and get this free thing. Like us and get some tips. Whatever it is, give them something. So this next tip is about transparency. People are not stupid. Your customers, clients, they know that everybody makes mistakes and stuff. And the more you try to cover it up or try to act like it wasn't a mistake and stuff, it gets just gets under their skin. It's like, come on, guys. Why don't you just cop to the fact that you messed up and we'll move on? Babies do this and they say, I'm sorry, and it's okay. Everybody knows that they're growing <clears throat> and you're changing and you're trying to make a difference in the world and as long as you cop to your mistake people value you more in fact if you publicize it and say look we know we made this mistake and this is how we're fixing it thank you guys so much for supporting us people will love you for that do that so the way you could do that is just to publicly announce it on Twitter or Facebook and your post and people will love you for that. You will be very, very surprised to see the number of people who actually are going, wow, that's great. You are the honest company. I'm going to come back to you. You're really showing integrity and you're showing honesty and that's what people really care about. One way to get information from your target audience is to hold contests saying, if you fill out this information, we'll give you a free iPod or a free whatever service you have and actually give it to them. Don't just say you're going to give it to them and not give it to them, but actually give them their free, you know, have a winner and display that winner. And this helps gather information and this helps you also gather their e email so you could also follow back up with them with any other promotions you may have in the future. This is like Las Vegas. It's like people go to Las Vegas to win stuff because it's free. Even though they even though they know the odds are against them, they still go to Las Vegas because it's fun and exciting and they could win. You can use this to your advantage by gathering information and telling people you're going to give them something. And oh my God, it's really, really powerful. We've done it in the past and we've got so many people on our list that we email out. Uh, just because of this. So the way these big marketers collect so many emails and stuff is they give away things like webinars and ebooks and so on. So think about that. Think about your community. Think about what they want to know or whatever that applies to your industry, of course, and give that away, asking in return for their email. Once you have their email, you could gain their trust by giving them away some more stuff and so on and so forth. Then let's say a month goes by and you're you're giving away and you're giving them stuff that they want, then you could give them a promotion. But the first step is to leverage your social marketing by giving away really good juicy stuff. A lot of people know to do this, but they just don't do it. And that's to put your icons and your buttons and stuff on your blog and your emails. This is really powerful and it spreads your brand exponentially once you do it. It also helps with SEO and everything else like that. Just remember to do it. I know a lot of you know to do it, but um, you guys probably just don't have the time or to do it. Do it. Okay, so I hope these tips helped you. We use these, again, on multi-million dollar launches. Use it again. Watch the video again if you need to. These are very, very, very powerful ways to engage your clients. And remember, it's not about getting money up front. It's getting people to trust you and to love you. Once you have, again, a thousand people to love you and trust you, that's worth more than a million dollars in the bank.